Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy, Poontan Gaming. I was gonna make a video about Brandon Knight, then I was reading about Kendall Marshall and I was like, holy shit, what happened to this guy? So let me hear your comments down below. Do you guys remember Kendall Marshall, the UNC Tar Heel point guard? And let me hear you guys smack that like button, comment, subscribe. Let's go. So Kendall Marshall was an American former professional basketball player. He was born in Virginia. He went to the Bishop O'Connell High School in Arlington, Virginia, about like an hour or two away from me. He was drafted by the Phoenix Sun in the first round of the 2012 NBA Draft and 13th pick. So in high school, he he led the team to the 2010 Virginia Independent School Division I Championship as a senior. He also led Bishop O'Connor to the semifinals of the Washington Catholic Athletic Conference. He averaged 15.3 points, 9 rebounds, and 6 assists as a senior. He was considered a four-star recruit by ESPN. Marshall was listed as the seventh best point guard and the number 22nd best player in the nation in 2010. His freshman season at North Carolina, Marshall provided more depth at the point guard position to relieve starting point guard Larry Drew the second as he got more used to the system at North Carolina. However, after a disappointing showing at Georgia Tech in which the Tar Heel lost by 20 points, Roy Williams took the gamble and inserted Marshall into the starting lineup at a win versus Clemson. Soon, Drew transferred to UCLA, allowing Marshall to take leadership role with a poise as he dished out 16 assists and three turnovers at a win over Florida State on February 6th. Sixth. That was weird how I said that. Marshall had an excellent sophomore season, which he set all-time UNC assist record of 351, surpassing former UNC point guard Ed Coda as the all-time leader in assists in a single season in school history. On March 9, 2012, Marshall set another record, all-time ACC record in assists in a single season with 311, surpassing the previous record set by former Georgia Tech point guard Craig Neal. Marshall fractured his wrist during the North Carolina's NCAA tournament when against Creighton Wet University, landing hard after being fouled while driving for a layup. He did not return for the remainder of the season. East Carolina fell to Kansas in the regional finals. Marshall won the 2012 Bob Cousy Award, joining past winners Raymond Felton in 20, 2005 and Ty Lawson in 2009 at Targos, who had won in the past. In the 2012 NBA draft, he was selected. 13 overall he was one of the three unc players drafted in the first round beside four players besides harrison barn john henson and tyler zeller so when he's drafted by the suns he signed a multi-year deal with the suns he joined the suns in the 2012 nba summer league in his first game he had five assists three seals in his final summer league he had a double double with 15 points and 10 assists in the 96 87 win over the memphis grizzlies on november 4 2012 he made his first official nba appearance against the orlando magics he did not record any stats in that game he had two assists and one Steal in a blowout loss to defending NBA Finals champions Miami Heat a day later. On November 29, 2012, the Suns assigned Marshall to the Bakersfield Jam of the NBA D League. In his first game of the D League, he recorded 21 points, 8 assists, and 2 rebounds in a 102 95 victory over the Santa Cruz Warriors. And then on the 21st of 2012, they recalled him. So he spent his whole time bouncing back and forth on the Suns from the D League for two years and then was traded to along with Mark Stone, Gortat, Shannon Brown, and Macklin Lee to the Washington Wizards in exchange for Emeka Okafor and a 2014 first round draft pick. He and Brown and Lee were all cut three days later by the Wizards. Then he was acquired by the Delaware 87ers of the NBA D League. He made his debut recording 31 points, 10 assists, and 9 rebounds and 2 assists, showing that he could ball out being a good depth guy when he showed he was too good for the D-League, but he probably wasn't a starter in the NBA. He could have been a good guy. Then, this was his best time. He joined the Injury Ravaged Lakers in 2014. He Marshall made their six different players to start at point guard in the 2013-2014 when he established career highs, 20 points, 15 rebounds, and 110-99 victory over the Utah Jazz to snap a six-game losing streak. It was his fourth career start in the next game. He recorded a career-high 17 assists in the loss to the Denver Nuggets. On July 18, 2014, Marshall was waived by the Lakers. In his one full season with the Lakers, he averaged 50, 50, not average, he had 29 minutes per game, 54 games played total, 45 starts. He shot 39% from three. He had three rebounds a game, 8.8 assists, almost a steal game and eight points then he went to milwaukee where he spent a season there and couldn't reproduce those numbers he had half the numbers 
He literally is the number. He always he had another great three season. He got his field goal percentage up from forty percent to forty five percent. His three stayed at thirty nine percent. But he literally averaged. He went from twenty nine minutes a game to fourteen minutes a game, and averaged just directly half one rebound a game, three point one assists. A still almost a steal a game and four a little bit over four points a game which is literally pretty much half his numbers because he's playing half the amount of minutes then he went to philadelphia and he kind of couldn't hit the three ball anymore his assist even went more down his steals went down and the thing is is with him then after the 76ers he went to the reno bighorns and then he went to the agua caliente clippers which is I don't even know where that is. It's the Agua Caliente. I, where are they in Ontario? That's that's kind of weird. That I didn't even know they had a team in Ontario for the D League. But so if you're wondering what happened to Kendall Marshall, from what I've read online, first off, he was slow. Like there, someone said, why is a player like Ricky Rubio in the league and a player like Kendall Marshall not? Ricky Rubio is like a top three, top five defensive point guard in the league. And he's great, almost as good as Rondo in rebounding as a point guard. Kendall Marshall's slow. He gets blown out every time you see him getting defended or trying to defend. Not that very good of a player. And, you know, it would have been great to see him succeed. And he had great, he's a great passer. He's the type of guy who needed good players around him to succeed. But that's about it. He just was too slow. He was an athletic enough for the league. And he was just ravaged by injuries. He tore his ACL. Did a lot of things. That's my opinion. Let me hear what you guys have to say down below. I got this half and half from Chick Fil A to Smack. As always, guys, I hope you guys have a great day because I know I will. Till next time, guys. Peace out.